It's a Costco haul today. Hey guys, what's up? This is Katie Hesby and I'm doing another Costco haul. I've been shopping at Costco a lot lately and I've just really fallen in love with all the new items that are coming into Costco. Let's start off with this haul by showing you guys something I'm very excited about. So something that I discovered at Costco is this brand new three day cleanse. I haven't seen it before. You guys might have seen it at yours, but at my Costco, this is fairly new and it's the Suja drink. So I just hauled the ginger lemon cayenne Suja drink from Trader Joe's, which was retailed at $1.99, which is a great price. However, when you buy it from Costco, you get, let's see, what are these? three, six, nine juices. So I did my research and I found it to be cheaper to buy it in this pack. Now this is a cleanse. I'm not treating it as a cleanse at all. Um, I just really wanted to get the benefits of having these juices, but let me show you guys what's in here. So there are three different flavors. There is the lemon cayenne, which is the probiotic juice. It has water, lemon, apple cider vinegar, coconut nectar, and ginger. There's the Suja um, protein smoothie, which is berry protein. It has apple, strawberry, banana, water, and almond milk. And it has pea protein, chia seeds, rice milk, and vanilla beans in here as well. And then the last one is the cold pressed trim greens. And this one has cucumber, celery, lemon, lime, and kale. So there's a couple other things that they share on the bottom here that have like the seasonings and things like that. Um, but I did, I've been drinking these, so I've been wanting to do a haul a little different and trying things before I, obviously Trader Joe's, I try a lot of stuff cause I'm there all the time, but um, Costco, not so much. So I wanted to try things. So as you guys can see, I only have three left, but I wanted to show you guys. Um, it comes with this little booklet and this booklet has a really cool kind of like getting you back into um, eating more clean and it has all these different tips on it. It's actually really interesting and like I said, I'm not doing this as a cleanse. I just bought it to drink the juices whenever I want to have something refreshing and healthy. So that's why I grabbed these. But um, there is a full plan on here for you guys if you do want to do the cleanse and it has different like directions and recipes and uh what else they have tons of recipes which is so exciting and they also have a grocery list on the back very helpful and i thought you guys would really appreciate that too especially because um these drinks are just they're cold pressed they're pretty healthy for the most part but yeah so that was the first thing I wanted to show you. Now I'm gonna take my camera off and I'm gonna show you guys, I got three new rugs from Costco. I love Costco rugs. I've been buying them now for a couple years and I have become so in love with their rugs because they're super affordable. They have the best wear. I have now two dogs. We just rescued a second dog. So my house is a complete disaster. Um, but I needed some rugs because downstairs we have hardwood and the dogs are slipping and sliding. And uh, we needed a rug anyways underneath our dining table. But let me take the camera off and I will show you guys all the rugs that we got from Costco. Here is the first rug. This is just in our kitchen and it's just a runner. This one um, I felt like was a good little place for the dogs to hang out. Benson likes to lay on the floor sometimes when we're cooking. So I grabbed this one just because to break up the hardwood, there's a lot. Um, now I'm gonna move on to, hey Orange. I'm gonna move on to this rug. So this is the rug in our dining room now. And let me turn on the light here so we can get a better view. So you guys can see it's a really cool like splatter pattern. Um, and what I love about this is if food gets dropped down on here, you're not gonna see it. So I love the idea of having a white rug. However, um, I have a three-year-old and I have two dogs and a cat and a husband and everybody tends to kind of gravitate towards this rug and I've found that when things drop, it's easy to vacuum, but it's also uh, convenient because you really can't see anything in it. And it just has a really fun pattern. I love it and it does, um, it's light enough that it actually does show a difference from the hardwood. And then lastly, this is our entryway. And we got, sorry, I have, 
a sheet on our really nice couch because the dog uh, got mud all over it. And um, yeah, now I have to keep it covered. So this is what it looks like. And I went with a lighter color in here because this is just the sitting room, like the entry area, entryway to our house. And I figured this doesn't really get much use. So no one really sits in the chairs. No one sits in this couch now aside from the dog. But I really wanted to get a rug that lightens the room and kind of just makes it look bigger. And I feel like this rug really does enhance the look of the room, makes it look a lot bigger and um, brighter. So those those are the rugs. Now on to the haul. So I grabbed some weatherproof vintage soft cotton blend socks. These are for boots and we're actually going to the mountains in a couple weeks and I wanted to get something that was going to be really warm for my feet because right now I just have like thin bamboo socks which I love but I needed something to keep my feet a little bit more warm. And these are cute too. So I grabbed those. I also got some um, ankle socks because all of my socks are getting totally worn out. I work out every day. I also work at Trader Joe's, so I'm constantly um, in socks and they're getting a lot of wear. So grab some of these. These look like really good quality. I like that they have the breathable um, mesh on top. These are kind of my favorite, especially for working out because it does ventilate very well and they're not as thick as some other socks that I've tried. So I grabbed those and then I got these mittens. These are for Benson. Um, these really caught my eye because they have a zipper and let me tell you, even though it's just a thumb, just one finger that has to fit in here. Um, for those of you that are parents, you totally understand then how difficult it is to get a thumb in here. <laughs> um, so I'm so thrilled that they put a zipper in because that makes it so much easier to zip down, get his thumb in there, and then zip it up. So they had four different sizes. They had XXS, which was one to two, extra small, which is two to four, small, which was, what was that, four to six, and then they had medium, which was six to eight, I believe. Don't quote me on that, I don't quite remember, but yes. So these are kind of the clothing items that we got there, not too many things this week. I also grabbed this cheese, fruit, and nut pack. Um, this is in the refrigerated section near like where the butter is and stuff. I thought these were really nice to grab and go, especially for when we're running errands and we're out for a long time. Instead of going through the drive-through, just bring one of these. And I don't have any shame with bringing a cooler in my car and leaving it in the car while I shop and then having like cold snacks in there. Um, sometimes it's necessary. So I already opened these to show you guys. I wanted to so you guys get a good luck. They have two different types of cheeses and they also have in the other side their almonds and I believe cranberries. So um, pretty yummy. Oh and cashews apparently. Yummy. Um, yeah, so these are great. These are good to have on hand, and I love that they have them in a convenient little snack pack. I know it's a lot of plastic, but I feel like it is uh, very handy when you're a on-the-go mother. I just saw these, and I had to grab them. They're called Wisps Cheese Crisps. There's 14 individual bags in here. There's Parmesan cheese, and then there's cheddar cheese. These, I believe, are like a keto snack because there's only one gram of carbs, and they're gluten-free. So, um, yeah, I thought maybe these would be great to grab and go as well. I don't know why I've been on the snack train, but I have. So I grabbed these for um, quick snacks and something that I think is just maybe a little bit more healthy. Um, so yeah, that's what I grabbed. These caught my eye. These are the green onion crackers and there's nine individual packs. So like I said, we're going to the mountains and we're going with my parents and my in-laws and my best friend and another girlfriend that has a son. So we are gonna pretty much all bring meals and share food and I thought this would be great to take and I actually opened them. I tried them and they're quite large. They look very similar to this in size. Um, maybe a little bit smaller, but they're very delicious, I will say. And there's actual green onion on the cracker, just like the picture shows. But here is what the pack, the bags look like inside. They come in this little um, tray. So once you open this, there's a tray and it has um, like 
five crackers on one side or four crackers on one side and four on the other. What I love about these is that you can grab a couple bags and open as needed and you're not like opening them and then they go stale because that happens a lot where we have cheese and crackers and then we don't want cheese and crackers again for a while and then by the time we have the crackers again they're stale. We still eat them but it's just not as delicious when you have stale crackers. Um, grab some more avocado oil spray. Now I have two bottles that I bought from Costco, I believe last year, and the spray nozzle looks totally different. So the ones I bought last year were, first of all, smaller. They were skinnier bottles. And the spray, you could either do like a full spray, a stream, or like a line spray, which is really weird. These look like just the normal, normal nozzle, so I think they're just gonna spray like any type of food spray you put on a pan. Um, but I just needed to get some more and I really like avocado oil spray. I know it's a healthier oil to use and you can cook it at high heat. So that is why I needed to restock on that because I'm almost out of the, the other ones. Next up, I got some Giovanni low-fat Greek yogurt smoothies and I buy these at Trader Joe's all the time, not Giovanni, but the Trader Joe's brand. Benson loves having yogurt smoothies in the morning. Um, and I saw these and I was like, these are so much cheaper. So I grabbed them and it comes with six mixed berry and six strawberry banana. And this is what they look like. These are a little taller than the ones from Trader Joe's. Um, but they're super simple and easy. I just, in the morning when Benson wakes up, he wants one, I just shake it up put a metal straw in there and he drinks it and that's like his start to the morning. So that is why I grabbed them and so far so good. He's liked them and has been drinking them every morning. I also got this. Now I hope your Costco has this. I don't know if this is like a regional thing or not, but it's the cilantro lime crema for street tacos. Oh wowie, these look, this looks so amazing. I cannot wait to use this. Um, I plan on using it on like tacos and salads and things like that, but I love a creamy cilantro dressing. It's just so delicious. Here's the back. It says it's great on tacos, wraps, burritos, protein bowls, nachos, salads, quesadillas, corn tortillas, tostadas, taquitos, grilled seafood, and more. So there's a lot of, <laughs> a lot of ingredients in here. Um, I know that this is not the, going to be the healthy dressing. I know that already, um, but Convenience for me is really important and I don't know if I could replicate this. I'm sure I could if I found a, a great recipe, but why not try this? I mean, it's it looks so yummy. I can't wait to dig in. So I also got this new creamer. This is the Sweet Cream Natural Bliss All Natural Coffee Creamer. Um, don't let the, the label fool you. It is not all natural. <laughs> There's natural flavorings in it. So I know this isn't the healthiest creamer, but I do like this scent. The sweet cream scent is so good. I also like that it's in a big bottle. It just, I feel like you get more bang for your buck um, using this, but if you guys have better alternatives to coffee creamer that are more of a um, higher quality and also that are maybe more plant-based, nut-based milks, please give me any ideas you have, because I haven't really found one that I love that is um, like nut or coconut based or whatever it is. So let me know below. The last two things I grabbed are for the animals. So we always get our cat the scoop away. Well, we don't always, but recently we've been getting the scoop away litter for our cat because uh, it's just so much more affordable at Costco. So <laughs> we have been using this. The only thing I don't like about this is it's very heavily scented and I'm not a fan of like scented things. I actually prefer unscented. So that's the only downside about this litter. Um, but other than that, like it does its job. It clumps, it does keep the, the odors away. Um, and then the last thing that we grabbed is we are now getting our dog food from Costco before we were spending $70 like every month and a half on Chewy, um, the website Chewy, getting our dog, her dog food delivered. And when we decided to rescue this other dog, we were like, is there a better option out there? Um, because we just got an email that they made the bag smaller and they're still charging the same price. So I was like, you know what? This is getting out of control expensive and with two, it would be like $70 every two weeks. So we decided to do some research and what I found is that Costco brand has the best quality dog food and even people that 
rescue and adopt out dogs recommend this because when we got our dog, the foster parents recommended this dog food. And so I was like, you know what? This is it. This is what we're doing. And it's such a great price. It is 40 pound bag and you really can't go wrong. And this is the, um, this color bag, which is chicken rice and vegetable formula made with fresh chicken. This is what was recommended by the foster dad. So before we gave this to Luna, um, our dog that's been eating the other food, we definitely did like the 25% of the new food. So if you guys are switching dog foods, I hope you guys know that you should very slowly integrate the new food. Otherwise it can totally wreak havoc on their stomach and they can have a lot of issues going to the bathroom and stuff. So just do your research if you're going to switch your dog food. Make sure you know what you're doing because it is, um, it's a delicate balance until they're completely ch like completely switched. And I will say Luna is completely switched over now. She handled it fine and she loves this food and she's the pickiest dog in the world. So this food is definitely a winner and there's several other different options for dog food there. There is like weight loss, there's puppy food, there's different flavors, all different things. So this is the one that um, was recommended to us though and so far so good. So that's it. This is the official Costco haul. Woohoo! I hope you guys liked it. Well guys, I hope you like this Costco haul. There shall be more because I have become so interested in going to Costco um, and it's just like a really fun store to go and shop around and Benson loves it too because there's so many samples and they have like fun things set up for kids to play on and stuff like that. So he definitely enjoys going to Costco so that keeps me going back for more. So if you guys like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. I do lots of hauls on here. I'm not going to say Trader Joe's anymore because I'm switching it up. And uh, yeah, I would love to have you guys join my channel and stay up to date on all the newest stuff that comes into these stores because that's where I am all the time. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you in my next video. Bye. Oh.